All right. Uh, at 11.06 and 30 seconds, say now, real loud. Now. now. We're going to have to redo that because my computer, like, skipped and, like... <laughs> 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 it was, like, 28, 32. I had to guess where it was. Okay. At uh, 50. 50 seconds. Now. now. Hey, internet! Welcome to what we're temporarily that what we're stumbling over our words on and temporarily calling whatever it was we're gonna call this uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation commentaries. I think that's what I called it. Pretty sure that's it. Uh, we are temporarily called Highway Forty Seven Productions because I don't think that name is taken. And I am Shaggy B, and here with me is Draco. Say something, Draco. Something, Draco. Awesome, and... And it's not just Draco, it's Draco Funk. That's right, Draco Funk. Sorry about that. You have too many syllables in your name, and I just, like, I can't even do it, you know? I have the same amount of syllables as you. Yeah. Draco Funk Shaggy B. Yeah. I'm just gonna call you Shaggy from now on. That's fine, too. That's totally fine. And, uh... Joining us for the first time in our second episode, we have a guest star or a permanent fixture. We don't know. We're not planning this crap out. This is Scrodrick. Say something, Scrodrick. Man, looking into my Vicodin stash for what we have to watch today. Oh, it's going to be great. Great is the word it's going to be. You know, I actually like this episode. I don't know why everybody's so down on it. Hey, I'm not down on it. I'm excited. <laughs> it's not that I hate it. It's it's that I, I think it came at the wrong time, but I'll wait for a lull in things to explain that. Um, but but I, I have a question for you guys, yeah, because um, I like to I like to start things that way. And you know we've all had this situation, so if you've got a story about this, now's a good time to share it. Don't you just hate it when you know you go to work, you're just doing your job, and then you know a few minutes in, you just notice that everybody else around you is just staggering drunk. I mean, not where I work now. That'd be really funny. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't happen to me either, but, you know. I mean, I have worked fast, but uh, lately, it tends to be my clientele that are staggering drunk. That would even be more funny if it was my, per se, clientele. Actually, it wouldn't be funny. It'd be, tra it'd be terrifyingly tragic. But also kind of hilarious, depending on their age. Ah, uh, oh. that, that's we'll, the terrifyingly tragic part. We'll just draw the line on that because Draco and I have the same job, and I don't, you know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we 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 don't necessarily want all of that to get out. But uh, exactly. Suffice it to say, there are there are three professions I can think of that that nobody should be drunk while they're doing. Uh, two of them are what the three of us do for a living. And the third one is what we're going to watch tonight. Well, let me go back. Um, I had a previous profession as a meat cutter. Um, right. I, I can still count to ten, but I had some... I knew several of my colleagues who could not, and they always told me... Every single one of them told me the exact same story, and it was, never come to work drunk. Yeah, I, I, uh, I can totally believe that. And it makes you kind of wonder, you know, you get you get like a bratwurst and, you know, I mean, I'm just saying they say that that, you know, man beef tastes like pork is all I'm saying. And the only time I witnessed accidents in the drive through were old people running into each other. Never alcohol <laughs> involved. <laughs> uh, you know, what's interesting is in I've had I've had almost all the jobs I've had. I've either had to be directly responsible for children or constantly operating or helping other people operate motor vehicles on public roads. And in none of those jobs have I ever had to be drug tested. That's reassuring. Yeah. So, you know, for all I know, everybody around me is drunk all the time. I don't know. But we're going to find out. Uh, we're going to find out today, tonight, whatever. I don't know when you're listening to this. We're going to find out now uh, what it's going to be like with everybody drunk at a really important job as we watch the second episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, The Naked Now. 
A, it's important to note that this is the Netflix version. Uh, you can probably use this along with the DVD and Blu-ray versions as well, but it might be a little funny and, you know, probably fine. I will add in there that after watching Encounter at Farpoint like four times today because I was editing that episode, I'm pretty sure I noticed at least two points where there were a couple things from what I remember seeing from older editions of the episode that have been changed to the current Netflix version. So we're sorry if it doesn't line up, but it's not like we can watch five different versions at once for you. So just go to Netflix, watch theirs, or don't. It's a free country. Yeah. Right. Okay. The Naked Now. All right. I will give you a five-second countdown. Mouse is over play buttons. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Yes, that's Warp 7. That's Warp 7. It's not as fast as it used to be. I am so relaxed right now. <laughs> so is Data. <laughs> they got their Warp 7 seats on. They're watching Friends. <laughs> I mean, it's getting to the point where I could almost afford a TV that big now. I have to sell everything I own, but no. Yeah, but would it do the same thing where, like, if you're off to the side of the TV, you'd be at the side of the person on it, like these do? Uh Uh-oh. Contraction count one. I'm not sure Data's eyes are pointing the same direction. They need to be recalibrated. Yeah. Take the whole bridge crew. Yeah, all all senior <laughs> officers, go to the whole bridge, quick! Who's flying the ship? We're getting awful close now. Oh, God. I mean, they're only going warp 7. They'll have plenty of time. We're using another Star Trek Three model. And they were good models. Damn it, Captain Brannigan. <laughs> Move out sexily. I I don't have a good Brannigan. Is that the first tricorder use in the series? I think it is. There are all those bombs on the floor. <laughs> Riker wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> I mean, wow. That's contraction number two. Yep. You know, Sounds like a good time. <laughs> That's what I call a party. You know, that looks almost... <laughs> Some, something. Ah, uh, shrinkage. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it because it shrank, but I don't know what's going on in here. I mean, you know, it's possible his visor literally isn't showing him everything. That's a good point. When he walked in there, I always thought that was like a repeated like drum roll, but it was the door. That's the most action he'll get for years. Yep. You know, I just have to point out, with watching Encounter at Farpoint, you know, Q did freeze people, like, twice. Uh Uh-huh. Why didn't they just assume that it's possibly Q has something to do with this? That's a good point. I mean... 
I think that's my real problem with the first season of Next Generation is that everybody seems like they've never like experienced life before. It's like they were all born yesterday and then just got thrown onto a starship and they just don't know how to function. My first instinct is just to take this all in. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like I said, I counter a far point. I'm I've never watched this show from like eighteen inches away before. I feel like I should be high as fuck right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why I saved my Vicodin. Didn't take it when I had surgery. Save it for a special occasion. We're going to have to wait for a much worse episode for that. Whoosh. Isn't the next episode, like, the worst episode? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I do have some vacation time coming up. <laughs> Man, I go back to work on Monday. Oh, don't remind me. No. Oh. Make a note to bleep some of that. <laughs> Shaggy B, you have the loudest keyboard. I know. I love it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> That's what downloading sounds like. I was totally interneting there. You know, if they're worried about like being so close, they could like move. See, they're just they're all born yesterday. Q? I'm sensing nothing from them, Captain. That's because they're all dead. <laughs> Professional psychiatrist. Starship full of dead people, half of them frozen, a recording of them going insane. I don't know what happened. I mean, she's only 19, come on. True. Ah, fixed his eyes, cool. Oh, yeah. It'll take years before she can fix his eyes, though. <laughs> Why is Riker, like, looking over her shoulder? He's trying to learn how to read the tricorder. Yeah, it was hilarious. Every every time he says anything, I want him to end it with, but you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> he does. He's stuck in his quarters, or sick bay, or whatever. You suppose when he sits on the console, he, like, accidentally hits buttons? Yeah, isn't that, like, the engineering console? Yeah, like, he ejects the warp core by sitting on it. Yeah. A butt eject. <laughs> I mean, they only have one bathroom on the ship, so, you know. Gotta do it somewhere. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh. 
Where are you going, Jordy? It's only because we've seen this that we know that that's a because they never explained what the comm badges were for before this. Oh God! He's gonna spread gonna serve a hippolis, gonna hip a surfalus, gonna serve it. He's we're screwed. There was only some way to figure out where he was. Yeah. Sort of tracking device he was wearing. If only maybe he had some kind of sophisticated piece of electronics on his face that... Oh, wait. Good thinking. I was just going to search the place he left already. Oh, good, he's with the kid. I can't imagine that this isn't already exactly how they move furniture in the future. Yeah, my science project is to turn into a furniture mover. And now that technology is in the hands of scammers. Yep. <laughs> Damn it, Wesley. You owe a very large bill to the IRS. You will be arrested unless you pay us. My name is Mitchell. I'm just going to have to unzip the... Oh. <laughs> That's what I thought he was going for. <laughs> This is the first time Jordy gets a mysterious disease and starts feeling funny. Yeah, that's how you can tell this is like the top notch, like A list crew of like the Federation flagship is none of them get naked when they get drunk. Wait, never mind. So, isn't that like right on behind the bridge? Yeah. How how did he like literally sneak in? to the bridge, walk behind everybody, and get in the observation room. He has talent points and stealth. Well, he's blind, so they can't see him. That, that's not how that works. You can't see me! You can't see me! <laughs> <laughs> I can't see me either! <laughs> I've been watching too much Russ Meyer. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> Any is too much. For those who don't know, which is everybody listening to this besides us, we did a pilot episode based on a Russ Meyer movie that turned out to be a lot more disturbing than any of us predicted. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's awful. Why would you want normal vision? What is normal? Normal is what everyone else is, and you are not. I see what you did there.
Too bad you don't have a psychologist. <laughs> I'm not even gonna wait. Smooth. Say that again. Smooth. Oh, it's just smooth and moist. Now he's wishing that Deanna had three breasts. Data feels no emotions. He doesn't get frustrated, doesn't run out of patience. He doesn't laugh. God, you humans are such idiots. Originally, they showed the um, refit Enterprise. Uh huh. So this is some of the uh, the CBS remaster, then. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't they upgrade it from 1982 green screen phosphor monitors? Data doesn't feel emotions. He doesn't get like satisfied, proud of himself. Barely holds back his contempt for the humans. Totally isn't going to murder them all. Literally talked to the guy who came up with that formula like yesterday. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was s some time ago, <laughs> right? He was on the ship. I guess it's probably like a week before. Yeah, I forget things that happened, you know, two, three days ago. <laughs> yes. I mean... You know, for this being the second episode, I mean, I didn't see it. I would be really confused, because last episode, her hair was not the greatest. Yeah, she aged about four years between the pilot and this episode, it looks like. I mean, doesn't she mean the replicator? They haven't explained that yet. And I want some of it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. you for not knowing. <laughs> Look it up. You're in front of the computer. You... Uh. Oh, Jesus, not again. What is that? Put that back in the drawer where you found it. That's what Tasha was looking for. Seriously, what was that? I don't know. Stop it with your bullshit, Wesley. <laughs> <laughs> 
His sweater in the last episode was better. This is described in the, in the script as the sexiest walk possible. <laughs> I just noticed the um the table, the pool table. Yeah. In engineering like it's not there. It's not there. It's not there till uh um the one yeah, episode I, where they go real fast. Too bad there isn't a way to, like, tractor the ship away. I mean, you can't download stuff through a tractor beam. It would block it out, and I don't know. You wouldn't download a starship. <laughs> Who is that this week? Uh, McDougal. McDougal. I think she's the first chief engineer. Oh, uh, not the gun of syphilis. <laughs> Got, hit, a, hit a gun of syphilis. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. What are you, 14? You're, we're good. Yeah. Literally, how did he even get into engineering? Flying into the sun. This is the first time this season the Enterprise has taken over by somebody. <laughs> Best crew in the fleet. Flagship of the Federation. This is this is the pinnacle of Starfleet. I wonder what the tally count is for the number of times the Enterprise gets taken taken over in the series. So far it's one. So far it's one, yeah. <laughs> Let's keep track. They're one for two, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like some kind of field that produces a force. This guy doesn't even have a uniform. Oh, pro bono. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's a reason why you never see him anymore. That's true. Yeah, he's a mutineer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, this was the 80s. There were still plenty of people around who didn't trust the Japanese. <laughs> That's right, her body was shaped like a captain. That joke was bad enough, I'm going to throw you in the brig. Yeah. Yeah, let her finish and then go get her. Tag in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
How do you even use that thing? In the script, the outfit was described as something that would get them knocked off the air. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just gotta go for it. That's right. Well, they all thought the series was going to be canceled after 10 episodes anyway, so. That'll just get someone in the mood there. Yep. <laughs> and that's why I called the unfeeling super strong robot. Mm hmm. He knows how to use the statue thing. And he knows what that thing was in the sick bay. I mean, she did get it all the way from Nausicaa. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't feel emotions. Ever. So, you know... I guess Data and Yara are the first ones in the entire crew to get lucky on this voyage. That's true. Did she just call him Bill? She called him Bill. I guess she only called him that when she was drunk. Bill. So smooth. She should go talk to Tasha. Now they got the intergalactic seat belts out. They don't put them anywhere else they need them. <laughs> oh, crap, I made a sadness serum. He's never seen a rainbow? <laughs> like a reading rainbow? He should just take a look. It's in a book. Why isn't Sick Bay like full right now? Yeah, they aren't too concerned. All the rest of the crew is just boning. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's when they're done that we have a problem. Why did she like walk and neck pinch her? Do it again. Now it's an inconvenient adult prank. Is that the same clip from earlier? Yep.
<laughs> yeah. Uh, it's okay. it's exploded. Uh, don't worry about that. I got to talk to this kid. <laughs> so sexy. <laughs> so ready to fly this big old Navy ship, Skipper? Oh, you're going through so many changes right now. <laughs> but you shouldn't drink it. Oh, I'd fly it right up your ass and blow it up. We could watch some gladiator movies together. <laughs> Meet you in deck 12 at the Turkish bath. <laughs> right in Warp Slap. Too bad you don't know how to fly the ship, Captain. I mean... Literally, you could sit down and fly the ship. Oh, well, except for the chips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I lost Jenga. Why can't I get the stylus to work? Sonic driver. <laughs> Bzzz. Nope. If only we had real tools. What if we short this one out? Out of hair ties. There we go. Th they're slowly... Every time they say it, they mispronounce that ship's name even more. <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> In every way. Would you like to see? I have a cat. I don't think he has a cat yet. I don't know. An urgent private matter. It's been years. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you brought my dead husband's body home, I just couldn't resist you anymore. That was improvised by Brent Spiner. Was it? Awesome. <laughs> yes. Hurry. We don't have a lot of time. Most awkward laugh ever is coming up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. I am amused. <laughs> yeah. I hear Data knows what he's doing. Since, since you brought him, you know. Since you brought his corpse home. Yeah. How about you, Orf? Bye, bye.
Didn't even flinch. Yes, I'm competent, and I'll have a job next episode. Aww. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Nobody go to fly the ship right now. You don't say. What are the chances that it would hit them, though? Out of here. Yeah, the the one that does this, yeah. No, or, or not. Ta -da! <laughs> Wee! Wee! Yeah. Time to whip some ass. Oh, you're going to get it now. You are going to get it. I'll show it. Wait a minute. You think he would know that since he's your assistant chief? She didn't train him very well because she didn't want him to take her, her job. <laughs> Fucking adults. <laughs> I'm data. I can do that. I can go fast or slow. Tasha wanted it slow. Wesley wants it fast. I'm good either way. Well, I mean, I'm sure Tasha didn't want a shattered pelvis, so. <laughs> Death by snoo snoo. That that's that's a lot closer than. Yeah, that's the thing I have done. I don't feel emotions like fun or anything, but I'll do games. Oh, shit. Exactly how big of a rock would you have inside a star, anyway? I mean, if it, like, collapsed, it's Nuclear fusion could have fused into heavier particles. Good, so they're all going to die of radiation poisoning. That's a good point. And maybe they still have shields, I don't know. They haven't mentioned shields yet. Doing lab work sexily. I love the skip. Me too. <laughs> At all times. And I know someone with a dog named Jordy, so that just threw me off. <laughs> Time to get him his flea medicine. <laughs> That's just like a Commodore 64 motherboard with some plastic glued on it. Ah, 
100. So are you going to buy the Commodore 64 you know, Classic Edition they're coming out with? Uh, I'm thinking about it. And this is why you get fired. Yep. <laughs> Well, they had to find a way to promote the blind guy away from flying the ship, so. Gotta make it so they can hide him in the back. That's right. But you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, I just <laughs> it's it's the only thing we're ever gonna say, I know. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, ba da dum ba da 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 I'm glad I wasn't the only one. Ow, it doesn't hurt. What? Captain? Drugs? Every time they pronounce it, it's like, it's worse. <laughs> if this was a two-part, it'd be like, so good fee. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, isn't it Wesley's fault that, like, an entire ship just got destroyed? Uh, yeah, exactly. He both caused and solved the problem. But we're going to overlook that first part. I mean, he's just a kid, you know. It took two days to film that effect. <laughs> I'm going to whoop his ass later. Just like the captain. I'll show him what it means to move aside. I mean, you know... I really shouldn't give this to you. Data doesn't feel emotions. Mostly me. Especially Data and Yar. Oh yeah, especially Data and Yar. <laughs> it's like, I barely managed to walk here. <laughs> And in front of everybody. He's up next time. She literally said that on the bridge. In front of everybody. Once I fire all of you for getting drunk at work. You know... Everybody's really pissed off at this episode in the cast because they felt like they were just doing an original series episode again. Oh, yeah. My problem with it... Oh, wow. Warp speed, man. There they go. Warp 7. My god. It's so fast. Now, my problem with this episode is that, like, it was before we, like, knew anything about any of the characters, right? So, oh, hey, there was the wrong note in the trumpets. Um, but, like, 
you know, it's episode two. Like, none of the actors have had time to figure out what the characters are like. The audience doesn't know what to expect out of these people. And they're thrown into, you know, being completely off from, you know, their usual selves. And it all seems really, really consistent when you add up the rest of the series with it. That's my problem with the episode. It's a good episode. I just wish it had been, like, episode eight or nine. Oh, yeah, totally agree. Or a later season, even. Yeah, season. It would have been a good season two episode, you know? This would have been a great second episode of season two. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I saw it out of order, and probably why. I, I mean, I saw it. I saw it, you know, in some random syndicated order, like, you know, when they were airing new episodes every week, you know, the other four days of the week, they would just play random ones in no particular order. And uh, and that's where I saw it the first time. So, you know, having known a little bit about everybody, you know, it worked out okay for me. But yeah, I don't I don't like it as episode two. Yeah, I can see that. You Shaggy V, you know, you showed me best episodes to start out, and then we kind of went back. Exactly. So it was kind of strange seeing the characters, you know, for the first time like this, because they weren't quite themselves. But I enjoyed that episode. It's one of my favorites. It's a good one. It really is. And my only critique is that it's episode two. That's it. And like we can go back and change that now. That's true. I mean, honestly... If you're going to watch this, you should just watch this episode like at the end of the first season. It'll, yeah. it'll make more sense. It will. They um, should have they should have put this in instead of the finale to season two. You remember that one? I don't remember what the finale is. I two. don't either. Well, we'll just have to wait till we get there because I'm not going to ruin it for you. See what I did there? I generated interest. That's what I did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, not that you guys can't go look it up like right now and then spoil it, but you know, that's fine. Oh, right, I will yeah. totally hold off. All right. So we know at least when you're coming back, Scroudrick. <laughs> uh-huh. At least once. See you guys later. No. <laughs> like six months from now. Uh... <laughs> yep. Well, everybody, um, we'll see you with the next episode, unless you skip it. Yeah. I, none of us would blame you. It sucks, but l- come watch it anyway. And I will be back, or not. All right. Bye. That's a good ending. All right. <laughs> <laughs>